Sampasuchil is a flower that originates in Mexico and it is one of the key components of Dia de los Muertos as it brings home the spirit of our ancestors with this brilliant color and aroma. Let's take a look at how we can make papel flores de Sampasuchil. We're going to make flores de Sampasuchil. It's really easy. We need 200 of these for our celebration. We have 48 completed, so you do the math. <laughs> if you've used scissors in grade school, you can make these. They're extremely simple. Drop on by the gallery today. I have a table set up outside. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can sit there and make five, make ten. Do something for your community <laughs> and make Sampasuchil. I'm going to show you how to wire you. I have paddle wire and wire cutters. If you wanted to take some home, I would be very happy to donate uh, the special paper. We did order uh, 60 packs of this beautiful paper. It is a crepe paper. I find that uh, tissue paper tears so easy. And we also store these, so I like to order crepe paper. It has a nice uh, ability to stretch a little bit, so it doesn't tear. But what we do is very simple. It comes in these rolls here. And to get the proper size, I usually unfold it twice, like that, and then fold it back on itself. And it, it just has these seams that are really easy. I don't even measure. I just kind of like, okay, make a portion that's equal. And then I take some scissors and just cut. And then I'm going to fold it this in half again. So we're making basically four sheets. And I'm just kind of creasing that a little bit just so I have a fold line. And then I'm going to cut this on the seam. It is not important to be accurate. In fact, to get a better, uh, more realistic looking Sempasutra petal, it's ideal not to be accurate because it's those little variances that make distinguish the simple sutra from perhaps a rose. So I just cut that so I have two sheets and then of course on this fold line I'm gonna cut again. There we go. Now we're gonna put these four sheets together. We have four pieces now. It's not important to be accurate. I think some people spend way too much time. It's the inaccuracy is what makes this simple sutra. So that's why it's so easy. We're going to accordion file. I take it probably about, mm, I'm guesstimating, what is that, an inch? Maybe a three quarters of an inch? I don't know. About like that. I'll show you. And just kind of go like that. So I like to have a table. It is important that you crease it pretty good. So I like to just run my hands like that. And flat. And as you can see, it's starting to be a little inaccurate. That's what we want. We're going for that look. And it's getting a little crooked on this end. And I can just kind of pull this here. I do that. That's the nice thing about quick papers. You can reposition it very easy. We're just about done here. There we go. So I'm gonna hold this real tight here. And this is where the fun part comes in that as uh, what I was saying earlier, if you use scissors in grade school, you can do this. We do not want a completely rounded look. And how do we go about that? Simple suit chill has on the square type petals. Very uh, rough. What I'm gonna do is kind of cut this at angles, but as you can see along every fold here, I'm gonna just take a little snip. This is important to cut those. And I'm almost making a little like point at the end. There, see I did one side, flip it over, and do the same thing on the other side. Very easy to do. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. Next step, 
I'm gonna go in, open them just slightly. I'm still holding it with my hand and I am just kind of cutting in here to make the petal. I am only going maybe half inch, an inch, three quarters of an inch. Just kind of randomly. I'd like to break up these kind of fatter edges here. We don't want real fat edges. You can see that. And see where it's rounded here? I want to divide that up into a petal. And you don't want to go too far. If you go too far, you'll get a really droopy sympathy chill. So look at that. Just a tiny bit. And I'm coming in here. If you mess up, that's okay. There's all different varieties of sympathy chill. of Simple Suchia is the variety that exists. We're often familiar with the big round orange one, but there are some that have red in them, some that have little bulbs like fluorescence in the center and, and uh, rounded edges. There's some that look a lot like our Americans. In fact, they are related. There we go. We have that all done. Now this is where the fun begins. Got my paddle wire. Uh, because we're hanging these on a string, we need mm, probably about 10 inches of wire. I'm guessing it's about 10. Don't measure this. It's not important to be accurate. So I'm folding this in half and then I'm going to squish it too. And that's the beauty about crepe paper is it responds well to squishing. So I'm going to put it about in the center of that, wrap it tight. Pull it. If you want this tight, it's going to help you form it and then twist. Twist, twist, twist. And there I have some ends here so that we can hang it onto our wire. We're going to take our wire cup and not our scissors, and that will dull your scissor blades. Give it a snip. Keep those ends down. And this is, and the next part is we're going to fan this out and begin pulling each portion. And this is why I love crepe paper. There's less ripping, less breakage. I mean, I'm really, unless you're really being rough with it. So I'm gonna pull these ends up. And I see that I failed to really trim up this last piece, no worries. We're just gonna make little snips in here to give it that simple suit chill look. Ta-da! Very good. So easy to do. And it's fun, it's fun actually. I'm gonna show you just how awesome this looks. And last piece. Looks like I cut that one pretty good that side, so that's good. And there we go. And there we go. Flores de Santa Come on by, make a few. Let's celebrate Dia de los Muertos.